Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have another very, very intriguing thing when it comes to now these next-gen consoles, where for some odd reason, they just keep on ending up more and more and more on sale. And it, it kind of comes to this kind of weird point where at some point, we have to find that that nice equilibrium price, where it actually seems like it's worthwhile. And it kind of almost kind of seems like the demand then must be going down extremely low in the fact that a lot of folks out here are not even buying these consoles. And as well, the deals do keep on getting better and better and better and we have a little bit more stuff we kind of covered up this topic a little bit throughout earlier on this week but we have even brand more deals and brand more locations and even more new locations to be checking out for but on top of that now we are now factoring into bundles and even on the third part of this is the fact that it seems like these companies are not even making money off these in the first place too as well so we have a lot of stuff to go talk about because you could probably assume what it is just based on the title and what i'm kind of hinting on already but it's always very intriguing news to go cover especially on the weekend so a lot of stuff to go talk about, a lot of things to ramble on into, and make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We'll have an update for that very, very soon. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to go and follow on up. We have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Sign up for that Weevil. Deposit $1, get a bunch of free stack for money. Same with that Coinbase too as well. And let's go and dive on into the video itself. So I'm sure you guys could probably assume what we're talking about on this one because I'm, you know, we're do you're using like the kind of more gender neutral, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, console neutral. I guess I'm gonna, whatever. <laughs> but basically, we have like the more of like the, the console general news were next gen console. And now I'm sure you guys know the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Digital are usually still pretty much selling out pretty quickly, but there is that one next gen console that is usually almost now always in stock. But for some odd reason, it just is. I'm not sure if it's more on the demand side. I'm not sure if it's more on just like the supply side or just they just want to go and get it. Like there's like a lost leader. But we have another big combina combination that the Xbox Series S price continues to drop once again. And I do want to say, I think this is the absolute lowest price we've ever seen ever. Now, I don't really want to keep on making more of these videos. Like if I see another one, say like a 260 tomorrow or something like that, probably won't, although that price would be phenomenal. But this is crazy to keep on seeing that these consoles are now finally still going on sale. But this is kind of even a little bit more of a special one too on top of this. We're going to talk about this as well. We've also been seeing them in and out of the stock. So it actually might even be worthwhile for you guys to go check throughout the day or next few days as we keep on seeing more restock stuff for it. But for this, the Xbox Series S price continues to drop and you can actually now even go and buy one. It kind of depends on this one. I think as the current moment of this video, I think it's sold out. But we're actually seeing people seeing that there's waves. As I mentioned, you can actually go get one now for the all-time low price of $265 what on earth is this price point to the point where like i keep on saying if it keeps on inching closer and closer and closer i may just go make the jump and get one and i'm not even someone who i, I have a nice pc so i can play everything up on game pass no problem but i generally would almost want to spend the 200 dollars to have this like in my bedroom where i'm just kind of wanting to chill and play a random game because there's just so many games on game pass and i already have a game pass I'm already in the game pass ecosystem so it almost seems kind of worthwhile so basically for this one this limited price offer gets you one of microsoft's newest consoles for its lowest price yet and to make it sweeter it is all also literally a bundle on top of this so so for good news for xbox fans while still frustratingly difficult to get your hands on an xbox series x which i agree with even though we've still had like a gamestop walk-in which we've covered before target walk-ins as well and they are seemingly a lot more readily available online for just by the console itself i'm like saying amazon or best buy or whatever it's still very very hard to find and very very hard to see but for this one now you can actually even go get this series bundle like i said it's, i think it's currently sold out but i think it's if the first and foremost if a bundle happens once like if it goes on sale one time you could probably go and assume there'll be more sales in the future and as i've also mentioned too apparently there has been waves of this too as well you guys want to go check out this deal throughout the next few days you guys probably can but this actually in all honesty is probably one of the best deals in gaming right now so for this one, if you guys want to get Xbox Series S on the Woot website for $270, so it's literally $30 off the normal price point too, and it's even cheaper than the usual prices we've been seeing, which have been floating around for, say, Myers and Fred Myers for walk-in deals. And as well, it's also even a bundle, although it's not the best bundle because it only does come with the free copies of Fortnite and Rocket League installed. But I will go and say they also come with other various things mixed on in with it. So if you guys are getting this Xbox Series S, it was why this is kind of such a good deal, especially if you guys maybe have a kid or you guys have like a young teenager or whatever. Just want to give them like a little bit of a freebie or like a mid tier present. Basically, you also get the Midnight Drive Pack, say for Rocket League, and then a thousand V-Bucks too as well and a thousand Rocket League credits. On top of that, so you have the normal console itself, 
already $30 off, so it's the cheapest replay I've ever seen ever. And then on top of that, too, we also have the bundles timed on in, which is also like, like a nice like $16 value. So basically, you're like, in theory, you're kind of getting this whole console for like 250 bucks plus tax, even if you kind of X out the tax stuff. So Series S is like the light version of Xbox Series X, I'm sure you guys all know. But the thing is that like, this little thing is nice. When it comes to stuff, it has 200, uh, 500 gigabytes of storage, which in all honesty, as long as you're someone who doesn't mind deleting games and going through it, it's still a good deal. It also has the Xbox Game Pass capability, and you can basically get a lot of games still up on like 120 frames and a proper 1080p uh, vibe. Like, it's just a nice, good, casual console. But it's crazy to go and see this because it's crazy to see a next-gen console still going on sale. And we've been seeing these deals, deals popping up more and more and more. Like I mentioned, we even saw some stuff up on Myers. We saw a Staples deal where you could basically go and combine two different types of, like, codes, and you got it for even cheaper. And this is nuts to me, because it really does kind of seem like it's either the demand is way lower than we anticipate, because I do, if I want to go on Amazon right now, I probably could. I could probably literally open up Amazon right this second, and you could probably go and find an Xbox Series X. So let's go and see Xbox Series S. And you probably can. It's probably already up in sale. You could probably actually go get it. Yep, I'm looking at it right now, little Amazon's choice over here, and it has the add to cart, you're good to go. Like, literally, if I want to go buy an Xbox Series S right this second, it's been in stock, and it's almost always in stock. So I'm not sure if it's just more of, like, they keep on making too many, and, like, there's, like, warehouses and storages everywhere out there that are just not overselling, like, they just are not maybe making enough money on it, or as well, maybe the bundles are just trying to incentivize more folks, or maybe Microsoft just doesn't mind if they lose a few hundred million dollars, because they ideally would make that back from Xbox Game Pass subscribers, which, in terms of pure business, that makes sense. You go and spend, you lose 50 bucks, give a pretty good product, but at the end of the day, they'll go get, make you $100 from Xbox Game Pass. So while you may have lost 50 bucks at one time, you maybe make 100 200 300 400 dollars long term, or especially if they upgrade to, say, PC or Xbox Series Xs or like an Xbox Series S Pro, it would just make a lot of sense. But the one kind of intriguing thing on that too as well, is we've had multiple different types of stuff. This is from like the leaks forever ago from the Epic Games versus Apple trial, where apparently the Xbox consoles still to this day have never even made a profit for Microsoft, which is also this is about like maybe like what? eight months, seven months into the previous next-gen console, so all this still stands, and probably even a little, especially more, because the Xbox Series S's are now being sold on sale, as you guys had a chance to go and see. So it's crazy to go and note, because Microsoft apparently just never makes money on their consoles, and they're always just trying to get their consoles into markets, into people's hands, into the Xbox Game Pass ecosystem, try to sell microtransactions on Halo and all that stuff put together, which to me makes a lot of sense. It really, really, really does too as well. So even on this one for uh, basically a Microsoft vice president of Xbox, they went instead, we don't. We sell the consoles at a loss, she said, before confirming that Microsoft has never even earned a profit on console sales. So this is also, like I said, into next gen before with the Xbox Series S and X already. So it kind of solidifies that in the first place. But for me, it does make sense. Like maybe they're trying to get, they don't, as I mentioned, maybe they just don't want to lose money because they're like, hey, they're going to get Xbox Game Pass. They're going to go buy some games. Who cares? Long term, we're making money. The Xbox Game Pass thing is such a good deal. They're going to be paying for it either way, especially if they have a next-gen console, especially if the Xbox Series X and all that. But this price point still, it almost makes me somewhat slightly concerned. Now, Microsoft's a huge company, bigger than Sony. They can afford to lose money. They can afford to give deals. They can afford to go and basically sell stuff at price or at a loss, because like I keep on saying, they get in the ecosystem. But this is kind of almost kind of scary on the overall demand. Because right now, if you have to keep on dropping these console prices, and we're seeing this everywhere. Like I said, we're seeing this up in various stores. I'm just waiting for like a Walmart or a Target or Best Buy to do it. Because right now, it's been like a Myers or Fred Myers, which is still a big company, don't get me wrong. But it's just not as big as we'd be expecting. But it is a little bit on the scarier side for the Xbox, because it, it almost kind of seems like they're getting a little bit more on the desperate side to keep moving these consoles. Now, I'm still going to hold strong a little bit longer, although some of these deals we see, if you guys want me to tweet them on out ever, I probably will. It's just crazy to see on how cheap these things are going. You give me a console for like 250, maybe like even 230 with like a nice bundle, or like a 250 with an extra controller, something like that, like a little thing to sweeten up the deal, maybe a few months of Game Pass. I'd probably make the jump. I'd probably put it for like a nice bedroom console if I'm just playing games and chilling. I think I'd probably do it. I think I'd probably be down. But that is kind of the one thing that kind of sucks the most is that is it good? Is this like a long-term play? Is this a short-term play? What is Xbox thinking? But at least on the bright side, us as consumers who may want to go get these are maybe getting a good deal. So I just want to give you guys this kind of talk slash news slash updates for this. 
because this really is one of the cheapest places we've ever actually seen and overall it's kind of crazy just to see how cheap this is in the first place so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on leave your thoughts and comments down below or if you guys even have an xbox series s you just want to go and chime on in as well we have the twitter and twitch stream on top of that sign up for that weeble sign up for that coinbase sign up for all the other little various links down below and like i said if you just want to see some horizon on twitch i'll link that down below i just appreciate you guys all so much for watching we'll have a lot more videos all throughout these next few days next few hours so be on the lookout for that and i appreciate you guys all so much for everything. Love you guys.